Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping in today. Finally, I had to email them. I was like, where's my premium? That's what this box should be. I'm thinking, I don't see a tracking. I didn't get an email. So, and it arrived today. So, and it's still not on the website and the box is here. So I just slip the tape so you'll know it's premium. It does tell you inside the box. This is $39.99 a month, six full size, beauty products value of at least $175. We do get to customize two items. And the theme for June 2022 is Express Yourself. I have variation 207. I don't know if that will focus always in my description box. I don't have my phone here, so I won't be able to give you a value right now, but I'll put it up in the video at some point during the editing process. I have been outside all day doing stuff and I'm about, was going to, I have scratches everywhere. I'm going to get in the shower and if I could let me film this, um, because once I get in the shower, I don't want to put makeup on. I don't want to have to like overly do my hair. So I figured, you know, so if I don't look my normal self. I mean, I still think I look pretty good for being outside all day. Um, let me get this filmed. So here's a little sneak peek in here. I, huh, am I going to know what I chose? I know I chose this the box is like opening up here. I know I chose that. Ooh, I have no idea. Maybe I chose these. Let me get my phone. I went and got my phone. I, I, I'd like to give you the value now, but I also don't know what the items are that I chose. Yes, now I remember. Okay. So let's do the items that I chose first so that then I don't have to think about it. I chose this from Ren Clean Skincare. This is a brightening dark circle eye cream. I believe, I, I don't know what box I got this in prior, and I love it. It really does lighten up. I mean, it does not remove. If I could get it out of the box, that would be a bonus. How does it, okay, it's like stuck. Yep, the label's coming off and it's like stuck in the box. Okay, let's put you back on. So this is what it looks like right here. My nails are completely trashed from being working out in the yard and the garden, trimming bushes and flowers back. So that's what it looks like. It has a nice little pump. This whole box just got trashed. I do have one this exact size and this is 15 ml, 0.5 fluid ounces. It definitely, night after night after night. And I used it, I think for two weeks straight so that I could see, and I, I do get very dark under my eyes. You know, I don't sleep well each night. So, you know, yes. And do I drink enough fluids every day and all that good stuff? No. So de being dehydrated and not getting enough sleep will do the darkness. This really does a good job. And that label wants to come off. I don't want it to. So I'm happy to have that. And I chose it when I saw it because I have like half left. And I'm like, I want that again. So let me find that on the card so I can tell you. Um, $51. It is expensive. Um, this eye cream combines 95% natural origin ingredients to visibly reduce dark circles after just seven days with an irritation-free formula suitable for all eyes and bioactives to brighten, hydrate, and plump the look of the entire eye area. Formulated with elderberry flower extract and glycogen. I think that's it. Glycogen. $51. I, I did it for two weeks, so I did notice a difference and do like that. Like I said, it's not going to remove the dark circles, but it helps a little bit more. Then I got a blush um, from Dominique Cosmetics. I don't think, and this says warm peach on it. Generally, what I like to wear are the peach tones, but 
Sometimes I like to mix some of the darkers. And I've been enjoying some of using now that I've decluttered. Um, oh, pretty packaging. Some of my pinks. And like almost like mauve from like Tarte and stuff like that. So like I've been grabbing different blushes now that I can see them. This DC is raised on here. This is really nice packaging. And this is, oh, nice mirror. Uh, here it looks horrible. Um, this on the mirror, it says soft yet powerful. And that's what that looks like. Pretty. Um, oh, it feels nice. And I just put it like right here. It's a nice cream blush. And it does got like a little bit of a sheen to it but that'll look nice on your face I just you know buffed it out a little bit I'm excited for this um, I've been enjoying her products so let, let me just wipe that on my shorts here uh, Dominique Cosmetics Silk Tone Cream Blush $22 oh, and you can use it cheeks or lips um, and it says bonus, it contains hyaluronic acid. Oh, nice. Good going there, Dominique. So then this here is Shadow Moon, a reusable shadow shield. That's interesting. I don't think I ever received one of these. So I guess when you're putting your shadows on, you can put it underneath your eye so that you don't get the fallout. If you do, oops, if you do your um face first and then your shadows i know a lot of people do their eyes first just for that reason shadow moon reusable shadow shield 15 dollars new brand tabaxi um oh wait a second it says this is a silicone reusable shadow shield for fast and flawless eye makeup application it catches the eyeshadow fallout and gives you a straight edge for eyeshadow and winged eyeliners. Okay, that's good to know. It doubles as an under eye cooler to help soothe puffy morning eyes. Cool in the fridge or freezer to depuff your under eye area. It's designed with a grip. So no help. Wait, so no adhesive is necessary. Oh, okay. Well, that's exciting. I'm happy to have that. What do we have here from Sandbar Beauty? Shadow Light Eyeshadow Primer, new brand Tabaxi, $28. Sheer and Creamy Eyeshadow Base. Okay. Long Lasting Wear. What's, and this, did, didn't they say clear? Um, I have no idea if it said clear. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Shadow Light. Well, this put, lighten up your eyes let's well we're going to give this a try i like a good base i'm just gonna it has a doe foot right there i just put it right here on my hand i'm just gonna nice i could see i mean i don't know if that dries it is giving a little bit of sheen. I want to see if that dries down. We'll move on to the next thing from Patrick Ta. This is, I'm going to look on my paper. Oh, Major Volume Mascara, $29. This is a black mascara. I don't have anything mascara-wise, I don't think. I'm not sure if I'll keep this on nice packaging. So I'm not going to open it in case I decide to share it. Major Volume Mascara. Oh, that's... Is this just checking on this eye base to see if it's dry? It feels like it's adding some like moisture. Um, I mean, I could see where that could possibly help. And then the last thing in my box is from Lorac, Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition, uh, Meraki. $45 value, 25 eyeshadows. Ooh, 25, that's a lot. A little bit of a sneak peek there on the back. Let's see, how do you open? Like a box, it's just a box top, okay. Um, 
Okay. I'm trying to think if I have rock. Rock. I don't know if I have anything. I don't have to check. It's, oops. All kinds of stuff going on here. Cards. Ugh. Little fillers. What is this? I think this just might be just like the formula. If I could open it, it would be a bonus. Yeah, this little paper here is probably just like all their ingredients. This is what it looks like. Ooh. No mirror. I'm surprised. We have a protective shield. Or is there a mirror? Yes, there is a mirror. Oh, this is like it tells you the colors. Nice. So you could put them in front of you if you wanted to, and I'll block the mirror with it. This is a nice palette. Definitely neutrals with, you know, some greens and like a greeny yellow and some shimmers, but mainly a neutral palette. But I like that they give you the shade name. So if you, you know, not that it matters when you're doing your makeup, but sometimes it's nice if you're doing a look on YouTube to know. And, the, you know, then they're, I kind of like it like right underneath the pan myself. Um, but some nice mauves and terracotta golds, um, you know, your browns. There is a black at the bottom, which is good. So it goes, you know, light to dark rose and champagne and smoky topaz lots of nice colors here and that is 45 dollars i do like that so that was up with a mirror and then we have the protective shield and then this i guess just sat right on top when i so there is a nice mirror that's a nice palette i like that i don't know why they oh there's something in here right here what is that I have no idea what that is. Okay. Let's see what you are. I wonder if these come out. Oh, no, I just dropped it. Oh, I wanted to share that to you. Where did you go? Let me find that. So this is what was in there. I wonder if these come, these pins come out. Do they come out? What is that for? I don't think so. What would that be? What would this be for? Anybody have a clue? Oh, oh my goodness. It does not want to stay in my hands. What is that for? I have no clue. I don't think it tells you in this paper. Does it tell you on here? Um, I don't know what that would be for. Oh, it says customize your palette by rearranging the shades in the order that you prefer. To remove any pan, flip the palette tray outward in order to expose the removal slots. That's what this little like key thing is for. Um, okay, the slots are underneath. Use the included key to remove the pans from the palette and place it where you like. Replace the shades when you replace the shades when you hit the pan and reuse the palette and reduce excess weight, excess weight, excess waste. It says, artist tip for increased intensity, eyeshadows can be used wet. Let me just see if you lean that forward. Oh, if you lean it forward, it opens in the little holes in the back. You can push, oh, I just stuck my finger in that pan. Oh, yeah. And that's what this is for. Oh, how interesting. Let me put that back in this so I don't like what now that is interesting. We'll just slide that back in there. So it came in this little thing right here. But I just stuck my finger in one of the pans. So that is my boxy premium. I am very happy with this box. I love the palette. Let's get some prices. 
and let's see what kind of value we have going on here. I have no idea. My brain just is not functioning. <laughs> and we have that. So we have $190 value and they say 175. So they did surpass their promised value. I love this box. My Lux was phenomenal. Premium's phenomenal. It wasn't like the boxy base was eh, okay for me. Um, but I'm loving everything in this box. You know, the mascara, I don't know since I don't have Patrick Tom mascara, if I would use this or not. I don't, I probably will share it just because I have um, so much mascara. So this is the hand that does not have the base on it. So you can see the sheen because, you know, there's just your skin. And this is the hand that I put the shadow base on. And in this area, you can see that it's matte and that it has hidden some of the blue in my veins and given me a nice smooth surface to put shadows on. Okay, I like that. Nice. It did dry down nicely. So that is my premium. I would love to know your thoughts. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Heading for the shower, finally. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, your day and your evening. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye now. I think you pretty much knew I was going to keep this palette. So let's do some swatches. I stuck my finger in that accidentally. These are small pans, but they feel nice. So that's the first one right here. So that's a good base shade. Yeah, I'm like, no. So here's the other one. I was upset when I stuck my hand in it. These are all good, like layering shades. They're light. This is a pretty one. Nice little green. Very light, but I do think their pro tip with wetting them probably would make them work better, but I don't mind them being light because I'm sure they're buildable. That's pretty. We'll use your thumb on this right there. Okay, not bad. I have a wipe here. And then since on this hand I have the shadow base, I figured I would try a few of the shimmers, which are in this row right here, and see how they do on the base. So that's that one. And that's pretty. It's like a little like coppery color. These are pretty. Let me do this one. This is more feels like a like a glitter. Oh, that's really pigmented. Right there. Look at that. Then we'll go into this light pink right here. Just a light. I'm trying to. These are all very pretty and definitely nice. You can see them all just shimmering right there. I'm gonna have to use this and come over here. And we'll continue up here that's pretty let's take them off let's get all these off my fingers so that I can continue so that's two the first two rows it's not bad just make sure your hands are dry to keep it fair oops so we have that one and we'll just come up here. Nice little brown. Curious about this one right here. Um, we'll move up the arm a little bit right there. Well, that's pretty. Go into this shade. A little bit darker. We'll come down here. That's very light right there. And then we'll go try the purpley. Um, I'll just come right here. Oh, that's pretty. 
And then the last one on this row is another like dark. Ooh, I love. Yeah, I'm enjoying this very much. Always remember like your pinks, your mauves, any like red base is going to stain your fingers. So just keep that in mind. We have a nice little shade here. Ooh, that is that is bright. Let's try this one. Very pretty. I love coppers in the summertime. They are stunning. So that was just two, right? So we'll try this one, which is more like a brown. And we'll come up here. Ooh, these have pigment. The pink one right here. We'll come up here. Wow. You wouldn't need much of these whatsoever. And let's just put this one on right here. That's like a shimmery brown. Got one more row here. I have nowhere else to put them. Let's get all this stuff off my fingers here. My shorts have makeup all over it. I am not going to be trying the black. We all know what black looks like. I don't need black all over my arm. See, now these are nice and light. Probably could do that one again. Definitely buildable. This one might stain right here. We'll come up here a little bit. Nice. Still pretty light, though. And then the last one is the brown. Hmm, where can I go with you? Maybe right here. Yeah, not even like, maybe a, oops, a little patchy, but not really. I Like I said, I'm not going to be trying the, the, the black just because, you know, we all know what black looks like. And I don't want that. Eh, should I try it? I tried everything else. Let me just dry that off. And let's just pop the black somewhere. We'll put it here. Ooh, that is pigmented. Right there. So I'm going to go wash all this off my arms. I'm happy to keep this palette. It is kind of a mess now that I did swatches. It wouldn't be so bad with a brush. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.